from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Beer maker South African Breweries and South Africa's first majority black-owned glass container manufacturer, Isanti Glass, marked three years of partnership at a commemorative event in July. Darren Parker tells us more. SAB and Asante Glass have enjoyed three years of successful business together, a fact which they celebrated at an event hosted at Asante's manufacturing facility in Rudekop, Johannesburg. The event was attended by Trade, Industry and Competition Deputy Minister Fikile Majola and Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lesufi, in addition to senior SAB and Asante executives, and served to commemorate the Economic Growth Initiative aimed at empowering the glass industry. The event was held to bring private and public stakeholders together to show their support for economic initiatives such as the establishment of Asante, which serves not only SAB but other beverage makers as well, including beer, soft drinks, wine, spirit and food processes. Asante Glass is a black owned business uh, uh, in the glass manufacturing space. Uh, it is about SAB helping transform our supply chain uh, meaningfully. Uh, it's a transaction that, that as SAB that I worked on in my previous life before CEO, becoming CEO, um, to really use the power of a big corporate s supply chain. So we procure glass, we're 100% committed to South Africa, we will continue to pre procure glass. Our ability to sign a long-term offtake agreement, find the right black industrialists BE partners to help transform an asset that NAMPAC uh, was looking to dispose of. Um, and so a combination of our commitment, finding the right partners, uh, their, their patient capital uh, and our long-term offtake has allowed us to transform this business into a truly world-class black-owned business in South Africa. In 2019, packaging company NAMPAC entered into a sale agreement for the sale of its glass business for an estimated 1.5 billion rand as a going concern to Isanti Glass, which is 35% owned by SAB and 60% owned by investment group Quande Capital, with the balance held by Isanti employees. This makes Isanti one of only two primary glass container manufacturers in South Africa to service beverage and food manufacturers with an estimated market share of 25%. The transaction created the first majority black-owned glass manufacturer in South Africa, which formed part of SAB's efforts to deliver on its commitment to government to convert all of its existing suppliers in line with the country's transformational goals. We had a five-year commitment to invest uh, a billion rand in various parts of the economy, uh, and we did that and closed that out um, quite some time ago. This was an important part of those commitments uh, in terms of we said, look, we will look to find opportunities to transform our supply chain. Uh, but in fact, the investments and the commitment we made weren't part of that billion rand. It was part of a broader commitment, more generally, to the country that you know, we take transformation seriously and we see this as a meaningful way to do it. As much as 50% of Isanti's glass products are recycled which contributes to SAB's circular packaging commitment through the use of broken glass, otherwise known as colored, in its glass containers. It's important to understand that there are two players in, in the glass market today in South Africa um, at scale. That is Asante Glass, which as I said, uh, we help trans, uh, transform out of the old Nampak glass, and Consol, which has in fact recently been acquired by Ardar, which is an Irish packaging company. Uh, and so you have two major players. Uh, what's important about the glass industry is that if you aren't excellent, if your efficiencies uh, aren't running at very high rates, it's very difficult to be price competitive. Uh, and so a lot of the work uh, since, since we um, partnered with Quande Capital, who are, who are the owners of Vicente, has been about getting that excellence, about raising the bar uh, within the organization, uh, which it wasn't at prior to our, the acquisition to ensure that we can compete uh, with the likes of Ardor, who have global manufacturing expertise. Since 2022, SAB has invested more than 3 billion rand in returnable packaging supply chain transformation, with more than 30,000 retailers being supported through the company's responsible trading program. 
SAB has also committed to investing 5.8 billion rand in South Africa this year, as announced at the fifth yearly South African Investment Conference held in April. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.